Ellie, whatever you say will be in complete confidence. It's our little secret, okay? But as your teacher, I need to speak to you about what your little brother said. Come on, let's sit down. I'll let you turn in your maths homework late. Only a day though. Whatever happened or is happening with your father, I want you to know it's not your fault. You're not in trouble. The school, me, we want you to know we're here to help. We will help you. My brother's wrong. Oh, Ellie, you don't have to lie. No, I mean, my dad didn't hit me with an iron. I hit him. Don't you bloody Stop. dare! You promised me. I promised I'd do my best and I did. That was MI5's best. They died. I know, I'm sorry, genuinely. Special Branch didn't get there in time, but they didn't die in vain. We stopped a major... Spare me the great and good cliches. My mum and dad are dead. I can protect you. To give you some idea of the pressure I was under, if I could get you to close your eyes. Imagine you're in the Gaza Strip. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. Pitch dark. Mortar shells flying around your head. Gunfire so close to your body you can feel the warmth of it. There's an open bullet wound on your leg that desperately needs treating. However, you've got three minutes to get a mother and her four, no, ten children out of their house. The house that has just been bombed. Oh, my dear mother of Mary! Where have you been, Claire? None of your business. Where do you think I've been, Tom? You really want to know where I've been? Same place you've been every other night this week, I guess. Don't you want to hit me, Tom? Go on. Grow a spine for once, I dare you. The house, are the claws on my back, in my pocket, a door key and two cigarettes. It's got things. He don't need me. It's got kids, he don't need mine. I can live with that. I can live with Carly, meet her in the shops, ask her what he likes for his tea. I could have Joey round every night. I can compromise, neat. People do compromise. People put up with all sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs>